So we're making a high line. Pretty good. So I can come down, right? I think so. To set Jim's trusses. Set Jim's trusses. On his shop, because he was too cheap to buy a bobcat with a jib. So I wish I'd have brought my tripod. So we can video. Plywood on the video. salt paper. Jim can go back to smoking his dope. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we sure got a little bit of a storm coming in, but hopefully it'll miss us. Don't but, go. Give me morphine. But we're using a bunch of different morphine. primitive stuff, but Boy, sunk an on yeah. anchor right there out of a piece of angle iron. That's about a five foot piece of anchor, angle iron drove down. Yeah. Turfer hoist. Should have bought a pass load nailer for all this thing. <laughs> well, I did, but I didn't want to wear a pass load out, so I kept it in the box. So we tied off to a tree over there. Now, are we going to flip the flop roof? these trusses as they go up? What's that? And are then just dug a hole right there. So those are two 14 foot six by sixes rough cut. We spliced. I understand they're identical. Jim you seems to think that there'll be nothing but down pressure on it, so so we'll see. But anyway, it's got scaffold up. We'll have a look at the back, see what the back looks like. I weed whacked here a couple days ago. Knock this shit down to keep the mosquitoes off us. So, the same thing, we did a 28 foot post right there, brought it down, anchored it with some turnbuckles, and then on this one, I just anchored it to the rope cage on the dozer. So, I was going to look at this pole and see if I need to get up on it anymore. Definitely. Holy cow. Yeah, she's way in. So we'll check in later. We'll see how we do when we pick a truss.